Hey everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Graham. I've got three pedals and one stick shift, and today I'm going to teach you how to drive a standard transmission. Today's lesson is going to be taught in a 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport Model Touring Edition with a six speed manual transmission. Mother. <laughs> it's a goose on the road. Okay, folks, driving a standard transmission might be a little intimidating if you've never done it before. I'm going to tell you, though, it's really not that hard. Just get out there, get yourself into a manual, and start shifting some gears and practice what I teach you. You'll get the feel for it in no time, and you'll be shifting like a pro. Okay, so I'm going to break this lesson down, folks, into five separate components. First, I'm going to talk about the theory so you understand uh, what a manual transmission is, how a clutch works, so you know why it is that we're doing what we do. And then I'm going to break driving down into four specific uh, scenarios. We're going to cover starting the car, we're going to cover upshifting, we're going to cover downshifting, and then we're going to cover stopping. And if you need, if you know what to do in all four of those scenarios, you can drive a manual transmission. Okay, folks, let's start with the theory. We've got an extra pedal here, don't we? That's the clutch pedal. Your left foot operates the clutch pedal, your right foot operates the gas and the brake. The good news is you never need to apply both the gas and the brake at the same time, so you can move your foot from one side to the other. There are advanced driving techniques like heel toe double clutching and two footing that are exceptions to that, and maybe I'll teach those in a future video. So what exactly is a clutch? Why does it exist? Here's what we've got. I've got six gears in my transmission. Each one of those is a different ratio. In order to switch from one to the other, I need to disconnect the transmission from the engine. That's what the clutch does. When I push that clutch pedal in with my left foot, what that does is that separates the transmission from the engine. That lets the engine spin freely and I can shift gears freely from the trans with the transmission. So why do I need different gears? It's pretty simple. The engine has an operating range. Basically, you wanna drive it somewhere between 2,000 and 4,000 RPMs under normal conditions. Uh, you can raise those RPMs up if you need more power, of course. Now, first gear is my launch gear. That's the only thing you ever use first gear for is to accelerate from a stop. Once you've accelerated, all the driving happens between second gear and whatever your top gear is in your transmission. So every time I go up a gear, it allows me to drive the car faster without speeding up the engine any faster. Now I know if you've never driven a manual, sometimes people are very worried about having to know what gear to be in at all times. Don't worry, there's nothing complicated. You don't have to memorize anything. All you have to do is look at your engine RPM and decide, are they where I want them to be? If they're too low, then you need to go down a gear to bring the speed of the engine up. If they're too high, you need to go up a gear to bring the speed of the engine down. Now you as the driver, you can anticipate situations. You see corners and hills and stops in advance. An automatic transmission, no matter how smart they get, they can't anticipate what's gonna happen. And so they're always reacting to what you do as a driver to determine what gear to put it in. Now, when you have a manual transmission, you can anticipate, and so you can put it in the proper gear before you need it. And that's gonna make you a better, safer, quicker driver. Okay, folks, let's talk starting the car. It's pretty simple. You've got the clutch in, which means the engine's turning, but it's not pulling the car forward because it's disconnected from the car because the clutch is in. We're gonna apply the throttle. That's gonna bring the RPMs up. As you do that, you're going to let off with a clutch, and when it starts to engage, that's when the engine is pulling the car forward. You're going to apply a little more throttle and let the clutch out slowly. If you do this, you'll have a nice, smooth launch until you're in first gear. Here we go, a little bit of throttle, let the clutch out, and off we go. Now here's a trick for you if you're gonna be starting this on your own. Find yourself a road with a slight downhill and practice letting the clutch out there. What's gonna happen is the gravity from the, from the hill is gonna pull the car forward a little bit and it's gonna make starting the car really easy. Okay, shifting up a gear is really easy. Here's a quick lesson. All you need to do is this. Push the clutch in with your left foot all the way to the floor. That's gonna disconnect the engine from the transmission. Now you can move it to the gear you wanna be in and then you just let the clutch out slowly. You'll be there in no time. Here we go, second, clutch in, move to third, let the clutch out, off we go. A little trick for you as you're letting the clutch out, apply a little bit of throttle because you're gonna be accelerating anyway. Okay, so let's do a full acceleration. I'm starting now. 
I'm accelerating in first, clutch in, second gear. Let the clutch out, apply the throttle, accelerate, clutch in, third gear. Clutch out, accelerate, fourth gear, clutch in, accelerate. There you go. I just put it into fourth gear. I'm driving at about 70 kilometers an hour right now. Okay, let's talk downshifting. If your speed is decreasing, so are your gears. You need to go from a higher gear to a lower gear. This is a little bit of a trickier one. It's a little bit harder than upshifting, but it's the same principle. Basically what you need to do is this. Push the clutch in with your left foot all the way to the floor. That'll disconnect the engine from the transmission. Now, shift your gear. Go from your high gear to your low gear. I'm gonna go from third into second. Now here's the more difficult part. As you're letting the clutch out, this time you have to let it out a little bit slower and you might have to give the engine a little bit of throttle in order to bring the RPMs up so that the engine speed will match the speed of the transmission. Here we go. Clutch in, third to second, a little bit of throttle, let the clutch out, I'm in gear. It was that easy. Let's talk about stopping the car, what do you do? Okay, so as you're coming up to a stock, you apply the brake and the RPMs on the engine start to drop. Once they hit about 2000 RPM in whatever gear you're in, all you need to do is push that clutch in all the way to the floor. That's gonna disconnect the engine from the rest of the car so that the engine can continue to idle even though the car is not moving. Here we go. Now as you're coming to your stop, you might wanna shift down the gears and once the car has stopped, you can put it in first gear. This prepares you for when it's time to start. For instance, if you're at a red light, once the light turns green, you're gonna to need to go. You're already in first gear. Here we go. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. Don't forget, get out there and just try it out. You'll get the feel for it in no time. Remember, any race car driver will tell you, smooth driving is fast driving. Don't try to shift gears too fast. Just try to do it really smooth. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future.